Hello and welcome to the next requested system test. As you can probably see, some things are a little different. This test is requested by CN Railfan. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's new in the system. So obviously we have the 9200 UDLS, as always. We have a new module here. This is a zone monitor module. Um, it is a notifier one. We're going to talk about that in a second. So we have the carbon monoxide detector, which is powered up, but it's actually not connected to the system. And the reason being is the module that's behind it is the older style clip module which in order to get a notifier part to work with this panel, which is not UL listed by the way, you cannot do this on a real system. In order to get this to work, we had to change it to the light speed protocol, but it does work for my purposes and I'm okay with that, specifically because I got this for free, thanks to the person who sent that to me. Now, let's take a look at what this does. We've added a zone, that's weird. That's because we have a conventional detector up here, as well as an addressable heat detector. So right now, uh, I put the simplex conventional detector up. Works real well. Pretty simple. Um, and the addressable heat detector also works very nicely. That is the uh, uh, Firelight H355. Following this wire, this is the first requested device. He requested a T-bar. Uh, he did not specify simplex or anything, but I figured we haven't seen the potter yet. It's a T-bar. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So we have the potter T-bar. Now this is tied into the zone right now because, again, the modules, the mini mods I had, most of them were the older style clip modules. So I have it on the zone for now, but when I get the light speed modules, which are already on order, I can quickly switch it from here and put the SLC into there and we'll be good to go. So... This station over in this area will be a zone for a while. Now, if we come on over here, back this way, you'll probably already see it. We have a white true alert up. I requested a true alert, didn't specify which one or what color, so I decided we haven't seen white in a while. This is the first true alert I ever had, so super exciting. Control module, again, because the CO detector does not have a functional module behind it right now, I do not have the light set up to flash out there, so we're not going to take a look at that today. But moving on, didn't specifically request this, but I now have an NVG12 LX that is fully functional with a proper module inside. You can see it flashing like crazy. So that is set up. This is going to be here kind of permanently now, and um, anything that was requested to be over by the panel is now over on the wall over there. So. That's no big deal. Moving along, we have the same old smoke detector. We're gonna mag test all these detectors today. Requested a spectral alert, did not specify classic or advanced. We haven't seen the advances yet, so I went ahead and put up the P2R here. This is set on 15 candela. It's not set to do a synced strobe because I wanted the horns to um, go off in sync just because it'll be quieter. And then he requested the BG 12 L to be here. So without further ado, it's about to get real noisy in here. Oh, that's not working right. All right. All right, the coding issue is resolved. It um, does need to be a sync strobe, so they're not gonna go in sync, I don't think, but that's okay. Um, it did scare me because I didn't reset the pull station before I actually uh, set it off, but let's go ahead and do the BG12LX. Man, those things are loud. 
this right now so I don't forget. And again, it says by FACP. Let's go ahead and you can see the system sensor strobe is still going. I will say I put the uh, filter behind that so it's being filtered DC. Let's go ahead and do the powder pull station. I'll get my key ready. Let's do this like we were doing a field test. Go. Come on. Loud. So loud. All right. Now I did say we're going to mag test everything, um, which is going to royally annoy my father who is upstairs right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Starting with the SC-355. There we go. Alright. Silence that one. Now I've noticed, I think the heat detector accidentally has verification on, and that's my fault. Let's go ahead and set that off. There it goes. No verification. Alright. Now I gotta give it a reset before we can do the zone again because it's a zone. So you'll see that will shut off in just a second. You know what? We'll actually smoke it out because I haven't done that yet. So we'll wait for it to come on and then we'll give it a go. Okay, panels reset. Let's go ahead and smoke out this detector which should activate pretty quick, I think. Because it, it knows to do its own thing. There it goes. Let's go ahead and give it a reset. And guys, that ends the video for today. Thanks for watching. I'll put whoever's on next week in the description below or on the video right here. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave it a like and subscribe. Leave comments below. I love reading your comments. And that should be it for now. Guys, this is fun. The system keeps growing. Now we've got so many more devices than we used to. And it just keeps coming. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.